yeah this tutorial we are going to see the pick and place operation for that i have created one robot and i have imported the grouper part i have make orientation like this now i'm going to create one object so go to modeling solid create one object so length will be 100 width will be 100 height will be some one some 300 give create so object it is coming in the zero zero point so i will make orientation of this object about the robot pick and place so this three option you can use this is for linear and this is for rotational so now somewhat i have arranged aligned to the robot position okay this is how i have arranged now this is the ro part the robot going to pick so there are two methods available one will be using teach method another one will be the using uh, control logic so here we are not using the teach method just you may see first for that i am going to teach the path of the robot go to home position so just i am going to move the robot using linear jog option this is my home position i will give a teach yes so whatever the teach target i have given it's stored in the path i go work object work object i have not changed so teach target this is my point 10 now i am moving to something like this teach target this is my point 20 then this is my robot picking place okay this is my point 30 after that i'll uh, make up word uh, the stage target point 10 then teach target this is point 50 after that i'll place it this is my point 60 after that i'll make a more point 70 then i'll make this is my point 8 so i have created a 8 point okay 8 target points now i will create one empty path so just i will drag and drop this target points point number one so point number two point number three before uh, the one tutorial you can see how to what is the use of this point target and the path all those things point 50 point 60 0.70 and 0.80 okay so now you may sorry this I created wrong so before 0.50 after that 0.60 it is coming that 0.80 again then last 0.80 so now just you may check whether the robot is moving in this part I click this path give more along path yes obviously it is working now our path is working now we have to make this object to pick see if i give this simulation and running button button it won't run it won't play okay for that we have to give the sync option synchronize to rapid option okay then go to rapid here you need to edit the program because see we created the logic you know based on the logic we have created the one program this is the program auto generated now just you can add the path 10 alone and add a colon that's it okay now if you give the run button it is running see the path it is in the main so it is running <laughs> now you can see yes it's fine now we have to add the logic to pick and place for that we have to create a signals okay. two option first we have to create a signal so go to controller part configuration ivo system create as two signals okay uh, the signals we see in the lab no d01 d001 this is digital output then click ok after that create one more uh, signal d002 two signal because picking one signal and uh, we need to position one thing d002 this is also digital output two signal we are going to create so whenever the we are creating a new signal we have to restart the controller okay so just to restart it Yes, controller is getting restarted. 
once it is restarted you will get a green color in the controller box yes a controller has restarted now what you can do you have to create a logic so for that simulation go to station logic okay here we have to see when the object it is coming to this point you know where the target number 50 30 the object need to attach then similarly when the point 60 the object need to detach so for that we are going to add component first you can add the manipulate action attacher so parent will be our robot or gripper okay child will be the part part number two then apply then you have to add one more thing detacher action detacher child will be part two apply ah see we have to add one more thing the positioner because once object it is picked from here it is placed how in the real time there is a conveyor it is available so it is moving or we can get this is no more like conveyor or any on the object so this object it is more automatically this portion then only the simulation it is continuously running now so for that i will make one positioner so before going to positioner what i will do is i will make note of the object position so for that i will go to layout again the part right click set position set position this is my position of that particular object so i will make a copy of the make one word file just to paste the x and y position that's it now add component go to a uh, manipulator positioner so this positioner just paste which object you have to move the part two so just paste the just uh, just to paste this x and y position that's it give a play see i will show you the simulation i'm going to move this object in a particular distance okay now whenever i'm giving this execute option this is coming to the origin position see i'm moving any position if i give a execute this is coming to the origin position that is the use of this positioner okay now so we have created attach object data object and uh, we need to give some logic so so this is the design panel we have to create so yes so whenever there's one more thing we have to add one logic get that is not get okay just close it now go to design whatever the component added is compose another one will be the design so design there are two signals just click this arrow d001 d002 when i'm clicking this see d001 you know right so here you have to create the logic how you are going to create the logic when like robot is coming to the particular position what logic you require that's you have to tell tell to the robot then only it is going to pick okay so for that first i will make this into a d0012 just click it will create the logic execute after that when d00 come to the logic get just click on attach logic get also from here to i'll create a detacher and also one more thing when d002 for positioner when the signal is enabled to the positioner that's it okay that's it logic now go to view path and control here you have to create two things one when the signal that is coming so initially when starting itself i will give a one pulse so for that go to move target insert action here in the instruction table you can create one pulse do which do we are given two so when uh, when it, you are starting of that particular uh, like just uh, I'll drag and drop. When you're starting of this position, huh, so it's in that this also no issues. When you're starting point 10 itself, after that pulse devo will be enabled so that the object wherever this object wherever it is coming to this position. After that point 20 it is coming point 30. Here you can add one more insert action. So first we'll add a wait time. 
so wait time in this you can edit to time of no, one great okay just you can make a copy of this uh, then 0.60 paste it so after the wait time you can add instruction that is set d o which one d001 yes great it is in the 01 okay after that after that here you can create one more set option okay sorry yes right click in set action again set d0 here value will be 0 great that's it okay so initially the pulse devo is used for moving the object wherever it is coming then set to object that pick and play then the last one will be the set for then I'll copy this wait time and paste it after the set also as for our program okay now just we will go to simulation we'll run it see object is coming why it does not pick the this you can change to just you can change the editor ok edit just will change something yes in the touch parent will be the robot ok and similarly Object will be detachers uh, output not get it as fine. That's it. This I will be the user center. No addition. That's it. Okay. Now we'll try again. It is not added right. Yes, actually, whatever the thing which we need to make a correction, we have to synchronize to wrap it then only the program which is up uploaded okay now it is playing let me see it is going to wait so that it is picking then placed then it's move back yes now if i run this because i have given a pulse zero right see it is coming right so whenever you can give the uh, do the modification in the program you have to the synchronous to rapid synchronous to rapid okay that's it